50. True, you heard it right. 50 proven tips to get that 90 out of 90. Today's video is going to be a comprehensive video. Every tip from every nook and corner of the universe. I'm going to bring you here in our SkillSpeed YouTube channel. Make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, Nakul from SkillSpeed Academic. I really hope uh, everyone is doing fantastic. I'm back with yet another video. Today's video is all about those 50 proven tips to get that success story of 90 overall. If you're wondering, do we really have so many tips? Just wait till the end. You will be surprised. A lot of tips, everything compiled in one video. Each and everything. You just watch this video. Nothing else is required. <laughs> All right. So before we get into the video, if not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button for the future notification. And any point of time need online assistance. It's an online paid course. You can text us to the number given there. You can WhatsApp us. We will be there. I'll be there to help you guide you in the right direction. All right. So let's not delay much. Let's get into the video. Oh, 50 tips. A comprehensive video. 50 proven tips. Let me just share my screen. PD success secrets okay 50 proven tips for a 90 out of 90 let's straight away get into the tip number one many would know this but still some of you may not know this i've compiled every tip so if you know this tip wait for a minute tip one click the next button immediately once finished in your speaking module pt read aloud let's say you waited for 35 seconds and once that is done you start speaking when you speak again the dialer will be for dialer will be for 30 or 35 seconds you end up speaking 15 16 seconds that's it after that if you just wait let's say mr butterball is screaming at the top of his voice who's sitting right next to you his voice will be recorded boss when you speak see the mic is right here when i speak the mic will record mine the other person's amplitude the strength will be low when I don't speak and that person is speaking right next to you, there is a possibility their voice may be recorded because of which your scores may be completely different. The idea is very simple, easy peasy. Don't complicate it. Don't try to know the reasons much. Once finished, click the next button immediately and go to next question. Throughout your speaking and throughout the writing, reading, listening, everywhere. Once finished, click next immediately. That's the tip number one. Let's quickly move to the tip number two. Describe image. Nakul, I am getting confused. I have different, different templates for different, different images. Not required. There is no marks for content. Nakul, are you sure? You know Nakul never lies. Okay. <laughs> the idea of describe image. It's an image. Software cannot read an image. So probably we are all being fooled. Okay, that's secondary. Can I know Max? It's the fluency, fluency, fluency. Speak anything, but try to be more continuous. Be more fluent. The given image represents a beautiful image. There must have been a popular debate about the given information in the image, whether it is true or false. But I see a lot of important information which leads to a lot of debate. I have been given 45 seconds or 20 seconds. Sorry, I think 25 seconds or sorry, I think 40 seconds. And I've spoken for 40 seconds. My time is up. Take care. Bye bye. Will it work? Try it yourself. It's the fluency. Don't have to pay someone the template money and all don't give don't have to pay for templates i'm sharing the right information correct so it's the fluency if you're getting low marks in speaking it's the problem with the fluency don't go to third party applications and check these third party applications only have taken the apis direct apis from internet those will not work like pearson those will just work the way artificial intelligence works but pearson is working differently correct don't try all these things in the third party applications go to the Pearson website and take an official mock test to understand if you're getting low score it's because your fluency is bad you may be using a template content that keyword title maximum minimum no marks for that it is the fluency if you are fluent you will get the mark so have one template add few words I've shared many templates in many of my videos the full course three hours video I've given the template itself you can just follow that don't have to worry much about describe image it's the fluency, fluency, fluency. Fluency is to speak a bit more continuous in a rhythmic, da, 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 rhythmic fashion. You fumble, you lose marks. I'm, I've, I've given the correct content, Nakul. No mark. If you fumble, zero mark. If you don't fumble, full marks. That's the tip number two. Let's quickly move to tip number three. Fluency means what? Speaking naturally. Right now, I'm speaking naturally. Am I giving fumbles? Am I making fumbles? I'm trying to be as continuous as possible. Occasional pauses and trying to be more continuous whenever is required. Isn't it so? Same way you have to speak. Uh, it is not about speaking fast or speaking slow. Speak at your comfortable speed. 
speak at your comfortable speed so that someone who listens to you someone is listening yes yes boss i'm i'm just listening to you and you speak and he says i'm not understanding anything he should not say this <laughs> If you speak slow, that person will be bored. If you speak fast, that person will not understand. The same thing goes with the software. Try to be natural. Normal speed. Right now I am talking to you, the same speed you need to speak. In your complete speaking, and that's what fluency means, it's not about intonation. Am I speaking like this? Some people have natural intonation. Especially ladies who have this market research is a vital part of the planning. They sing. Don't sing. Be more natural. That's what fluency is all about. Just speak the way you do in your native language. As simple as that, that's the most important tip. Number three, let's go to tip number four. Read aloud, read aloud, read aloud. You can read one line. What? There's so many lines, right? You can just read one line, but and click next. Read like 15 words, 16 words, and click next immediately. Do I lose marks to reading? You don't lose marks to reading. Read aloud contributes. 30 or 35 marks towards your speaking and reading you speak one line do i lose marks you don't lose any marks to reading and speaking please don't comment again <laughs> trust me for this video also people will comment make a video on one line which i would have told in this video <laughs> still people would comment because they don't have patience they don't watch the video full pay more attention it will not deduct the marks but there is a condition when you read one line don't fumble man you cannot. It will be fluent. Don't skip any words. Oh, this word, three words are difficult. Nakul, ten words I spoke in one line. Three words are difficult. I skip them. Then marks will not come. First of all, you are reading only small line, ten, twelve words. On top of that, you are skipping few words. Software will not have enough data. Then what would then read full? No. One line will work if you read perfectly. Otherwise, don't use one line. Hope you are getting it. Now, the one line, that yellow marker here, I will show you how to read. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow ac across the tranquil meadow. Click next, you will get zero. Five marks you would lose towards your reading and speaking, both from this read aloud. Trust me on this, then I could how to read. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow across the tranquil meadow. Click next, you will get full marks. Is it tested? Yes. Don't write this in third party applications. Like I told you, they are simply you know, buying some APIs and doing it. Pearson is doing separate. They are customizing it. They are putting their own code. Hope it is clear. Again, if you comment, make a video on one line. I don't know what to say. This is the truth. You read one line, then read perfect. Then if you think, I think I may make mistake, then read full man. Or at least two lines. Speak at least 70, 80 percent. Give more data. If you want to skip the words, the sun below the horizon, warm golden glow across the meadow, the gentle breeze through the tall. Like this, you can speak two lines and click next. Wherever you want to skip, you can skip. Well, that's a tip number five. We'll come, but tip number four. Hope I've answered one line. You read if you're confident. Otherwise, read full. <laughs> all right. Tip number five. Repeat sentence. Repeat sentence. Repeat sentence. If you repeat all the content perfectly, then how much marks you get? Full marks, Nakul. You may get zero also. If your fluency is not up to the mark, pay more attention. Let's say this is the repeat sentence. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow. They spoke the audio. The audio was like this. And you started speaking. The sun dipped below the uh, horizon, casting a, a warm golden glow. Oh, I spoke everything. Zero. What software wants is the fluency, not the content. <clears throat> For the software to understand what you speak, you need to be fluent. Otherwise, software will not understand. It's an AI there. So, be very careful. Don't assume my repeat sentence was all perfect and the score was less because you are not fluent. It is not the content, it is the fluency. You can speak the sun dip below the horizon and click next. You will get full marks. But if you but you need to be fluent, you need to be continuous, rhythmic, speak like the speaker. That's the constraint. When you practice every day, practice for that constraint to overcome. Don't practice for content, practice for fluency. It is just this convincing this. Not it will not work by just practicing. Sit for 10 minutes and just talk to yourself. I listen, I speak, but I will not fumble. Then you get the marks. Simply speaking, everything will not give you a mark if you are not fluent. That's the tip number five. Let's quickly, yes, that I showed you already. Quickly move to tip number six. Read aloud. Always concentrate on fluency over the content. Means, like I told you, you can read one-liner. So, content, they are not giving any preference. 
like I showed you before, right? The sun dip below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow across the tranquil meadow and click next. Now, cool. what about rest of the content I have missed? Uh, but still, I got full marks. So many of my students got it. That means content is not a priority. That means, that means you can skip any number of words. This word is difficult here. Yeah, I violated all the yellow words, which may be difficult for some people. You skip them, man. If I skip these words, will I, don't I get low marks? See, I am speaking one line and still getting full mark. Three lines I skipped. I am asking you four words you skip. Whichever the words are difficult for you. Hope you are getting it. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow across the meadow. The gentle breeze through the tall grass, creating whispers. A lone figure stood at the edge of the air, painted against the fading dead, 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 dead. It's just this. Hope you are getting it. You read one line, that means you are skipping a lot of lines. Content you are not giving, still you are getting marks. That means content is not a priority. That means you can skip as many words as you want, provided you are fluent, you get marks. Like this, we still have 44 tips. Hold on, this is going to be a lengthy video. Uh, but yes, uh, I thought I will just give you right information. Alright, tip number 7, read a lecture. Audio came for 25 seconds. I wrote a small two words or small two phrases. What to do? You can't do much. Of course, written lecture contributes marks to speaking and listening. Content will contribute some marks to listening. Fluency will contribute marks to speaking. Now, content you have not written much. So obviously, listening one or two marks you would lose, but still you can get speaking 90. How? Worst case scenario, repeat the same lines. <laughs> okay. Won't software penalize me and you know? all? it will not understand at all <laughs> okay this is the template and i have written only two lines I'm, i was supposed to write i'm supposed to write five lines but i've written only two lines what to do the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about david the kingmaker died in the beginning the speaker explained about the aristocratic society demanded for it I could look. After that, what would I do? Don't click next to the speaker. Speak, speak, man, speak something. The later speaker mentioned about the importance of David, the kingmaker died. Here the speaker was a da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
but let's say you made 10 spelling mistakes you'll get 5 mark out of 15 10 marks you would lose towards your writing essay will not give 90 by the way any template you can use these days the two essays and uh, i always suggest people don't use the template where you write one word one word you type rest all template will cover if you want 65 or 79 don't use it i've given templates in my other videos use them write at least four four or five sentences on your own and make sure you don't make spelling mistakes you get the marks for it that's the tip number nine let's quickly move to tip number ten okay say i was typing timer expired what is going to happen whatever you have typed it will be auto saved you don't have to worry because 20 minute is the time bounded uh, module so it will be auto saved you don't have to worry hope you're getting it don't have to worry too much about it because people type and they forgot to click the submit button timer went off and they're in such a bad state thinking my set did not score what to do now and now they start with the reading module with the same negative thought reading also gone case golden tip if at all you're typing or you finish typing but you forgot to click the submit button and the timer expired 20 minutes don't have to worry everything will be saved i can give you a guarantee <laughs> all right tip is to use full 20 minutes without fail proofread spelling after 20 minutes it will be auto save till 20 minutes you have to use that is the technique 15 minute i finished and went next knuckle next module then 20 spelling mistakes were there zero mark you get be very careful all right tip number 11 summarize written text a very simple man don't write on your own knuckle i have to write synonyms because my trainer told me the trainer would be an ielts trainer who is teaching pte ask the trainer the score report you will understand the real colors Summarized written text, you write on your own. Hey, how do you know software will understand? How? It's very intelligent, Nakul. You are assuming because we are dumb. We have created it. <laughs> okay? Uh, don't write on your own. Exact copy paste, whatever is there. Either type, cut copy paste button is there. It may not work. You type exactly as it is. That's what I meant. Two full sentences. Take two full sentences. Not half. Half you copy grammatically wrong sentence. Grammatically, it becomes wrong if you copy half. Full, after full stop, till the next full stop, copy. After full stop, one more sentence. After full stop, till the next full stop, copy. Between them, comma, add a connector. And you add, don't complicate. Add and. And in the end, put a full stop. Use comma and in the between or in between, put a full stop in the end. That's all summarized written text is. Look at this question. It's a big paragraph. The first paragraph highlighted in the yellow, I'll take entire thing half you take a grammatically full wrong zero marks you get summarized written text hardly contributes four marks towards your uh, writing and reading not 90 four marks you will get four you mess it up you get zero entire thing see here up to full stop i will copy paste then i started after a full stop itself here the word hawking's brilliance extended until a full stop two sentences exactly i copy pasted comma and not and comma comma and and then full stop that's all man now don't check this in third party applications because Pearson is checking it differently which from my experience I know. So please use this you will get your scores. Okay tip number 12 summarized written text also will be auto saved. So whenever you type you can easily take your own time and see the spelling mistake that you have committed that you have made. Don't have to rush it will be auto saved you don't have to rush 10 minutes will be given to write your summarized written text let's say 10 minutes timer expired you did not click the next button and went to essay no issues it will be auto saved no need to worry if timer expires tip is to use full 10 minutes okay proofreading for spelling and grammar check that's most important tip number 13 summarized written text again if you finish in five minutes remaining five minutes i will use it to essay essay becomes 25 minutes you cannot carry forward uh, the timer so the idea is useful if you're very confident, then move on. Otherwise, use full. Tip number 14. Let's move on quickly. Reading fill in the blanks. Let's get into the reading module. Reading fill in the blanks. Use grammar and collocations when needed. Okay, this is a big chapter. I know you're all familiarized, familiar, already familiarized with my videos. Those who are very new um, to my channel, watch my grammar videos. You would know PT reading fill in the blanks is all about grammar and collocations. Uh, let's see what exactly I meant. Look at this question. You can pause the video, try doing it and once done, resume the video to understand what is the approach. India has the ability to, see so it's a big paragraph. It takes time perhaps to read and reading fill in the blanks. Probably you will not have a lot of time. Correct? Two and a half minutes per question is what I tell my students to do it. To dash to. India has the ability to dash to one lakh unicorns and almost ten lakh startups in the future. 
to dash to dash to dash to you need to scale up to you need to scale to collocation i'm not reading full few of the things not all the time few of the things using collocations you can do like this it is not accelerate to to accelerate to no it's just to scale to this is the size one lakh startups now the size has become to 10 to 20 lakhs the scaling up so this is scale up to <coughs> the extent of digitalization is going to dash increase is accelerate India stack and the digital. See, I'm not reading Chandra Shekhar who completes two years. I'm not really interested in Chandra Shekhar nor his daughter. Hope you're getting it. What I want is the correct answer. The India stack and digital public infrastructure dash by the country. Infrastructure is created, created, built. And how the technology can be put, technology can be deployed. This is a collocation how the technology can be deployed. So, the things are actually easy when you make use of grammar and collocation. Well, you can read every line and still do it. It probably may take three, three minutes or two and a half minutes. Some questions like this will be finished in 10, 20 seconds. Think about it. In our course, we have grammar course, collocations, everything, any point of time you need. Online paid assistance, you can text us. We'll give you one set of things. You just follow them. Scores are guaranteed. All right, tip. Hold on for a second. Tip number 15. Lengthy reading, fill in the blanks. This much length is there, Nakola. Yo, I am reading, reading. Don't read all. You need to read only when it is required. Only when context-based blanks are there. Let's say five blanks are there. All the five will not be context-based. So, you need to quickly switch. Let's say there is a blank here. You read, read, read. There is a blank here down. After reading the first one, don't read. Just jump here and see if this can be done by grammar. If that can be done by grammar, then you don't need to read all. If that is not, let's say you cannot do it by grammar, then you go back and read. It's just like checking your trying your luck. Correct? So, mostly use grammar. No need to read full para all the time. Read only if required. Follow them. Man. Nakul, lengthy paragraph, Nakul, I understood. I will do it, Nakul. I will do it. Correct? Yeah. <laughs> I know you're doing it. Pause the video, finish it, and resume it to understand how to do this. All right. So, this is a simple question. Let's try to solve it using grammar. New York City had the dash air quality collocation. Some best air quality pollution was the result of smoke, man. So it is worst only. Worst air quality. Uh, dash and placing. See, placing is there. So here also ing has to come. So here sting is not ing. Sting is uh, some prick. Dispersing and igniting. Igniting and placing millions of people. Huh? Smoke ignited. Huh? No, no, no. People were running. It's, it's like class disperse. It's like just spreading, just going out. They dispersed everywhere. Dispersing is the second one, not igniting. Dash the fire. Fuel the fire. Give some fuel to fire so the fire will burn more. Fuel, fuel the fire is there. They may feel a dash in their eyes. They may feel a prick that's called sting in the eyes collocation. And when they breathe smoky air, but what happens to that same individual when they breathe smoky air for dash periods, every year is still unclear. For short period, long period, something has to be there, collocation. Expand period, expand is a verb, we need expanded period, adjective, extended is there, that's it, easy peasy. I am not reading everything. Well, if I am not able to solve this with the grammar or the collocation, then I will read the paragraph, even they curve, they may have trouble record, I try to understand the context. Otherwise, it's not required. So, try your luck with the grammar and collocation. Watch my grammar videos or many grammar. Recently, I made 20 reading from the blank grammar shortcuts. Somewhere the video is here in the description. Check them. Start applying things. There are a lot of good people in the internet, they have made a website, they have given the question, practice, but with this approach. All right. Let's quickly move on to the <clears throat> tip number 16. I think tip number 15 we finished. Let's go a bit quicker now. Tip number 16 after 2. Verb 1 only will come. Reading fill in the blanks. There is a 2 T O and there is a blank. Your eyes should only go to that option which has verb 1 in it. The city has to offer, not offered. Offered. Past tense will not come. Offers will not come. It's just verb in the present tense. The goal is to 
dash this task intelligently the goal is to do this task perform not performs or performed verb one the present tense only will come after to remember this rule tip number 17 after verb 3 has only will come verb 3 after verb 3 nahi very sorry apologies on this it is after has or have or is verb 3 only will come the city has very sorry that tppd had a problem has means has have had any of this and there is a dash just use verb 3 what is verb 3 eat it eaten eat is verb 1 it is verb 2 past tense verb 3 is past participle give give given develop developed developed the city has offered not offer reading writing fill in the blanks you gonna make use of this techniques the sun has dash many species to gain vitamin c hell has helped or have helped or had helped ed will come verb 3 will come remember this remember this remember this tip number 18 after a or an if there is a dash it's always a singular noun it cannot be verb it cannot be adverb it cannot be adjective can come sometimes um, an exciting apple adjective can come but it's mostly noun if there is a dash after a or an and that too guess what singular noun plural will never come a dash is a good place to go now go is missing very sorry uh, restaurant is a good place to go and explanation is all he needed hope you're getting it after an a e i o u pronouncing sound will come that's article concept but the idea is our restaurants will not come and explanations will not be there this is exactly what i'm talking about make use of this rule in listening fill in the blanks also you can make use of this rule we will move on to tip number 19 if there is no a or an then it's plural the rivers pay more attention see that a restaurant is good place to go now a is not there then you cannot say a restaurant is a good place that is wrong grammar as per english because restaurant is countable when something is countable if singular you're writing you need to write a if a you don't write then you make it restaurants because golden rule i'm telling you golden rule dash live in this place kings live in this place not a king otherwise a king live in this place lions live in this place dash fly in the air a bird fly in, flies in the air if a bird is not there, it should be birds, it should be plural, it should be with s. Your eyes should only go to that option which has s in it. Hope you are getting it. Hope you are getting it. If you are still getting confused, rewind for like 2 minutes. Tip 18, tip 19, you just check. It is just opposite to each other. A apple. If a is not there, it should be apples as per grammar. Tip number 20, after ITS. Noun only will come man. ITS means Nakul apostrophe S. Nakul apostrophe S house. Nakul apostrophe S laptop. Nakul apostrophe S studio. Cat comes, let's say. Its tail. Its food. Its something. It is always ITS means something belongs to it after ITS if there is a dash. Its dash offers great place for safety. Its nest is a noun. Nestled is a verb. Create is a verb. What is the answer? write it down in the comment section <laughs> all right um, it's dash offers great place for safety hope you're getting it it's always a singular noun after it yes or after apostrophe not it apostrophe yes nakul apostrophe is david apostrophe is sita apostrophe is rajini apostrophe is shaker apostrophe is krishna apostrophe is then noun will come it apostrophe is means it is it yes is equal to nakul apostrophe yes. for the word it it changes let's not get too much into it let's quickly move on to tip number 21 after one of the hey one of my friend came i am one of the tutor if your tutor say i'm one of the tutor what you should tell him back hey it is not one of my one of the tutor it is one of the tutors <laughs> because as per english it's one among many many is more than one so one of the tutors one of the places one of the restaurants one of the mics one of the screens one of the lights is getting it it's always plural noun in reading fill in the blanks one of the dash is there your eye should go to that plural noun option only one of the dash offers great food here one of my dash needs an urgent assistance one of my friends one of the restaurants it's always plural 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 no matter what tip 22 after singular noun if there is a verb add s to it he 
it wrong he is a singular noun eats will come if it is a plural noun s will not come so here these restaurants are good for nothing every time the waiter the waiter pay more attention the waiter is a singular noun now there is a verb add s that's exactly what i am talking about is it disappoints or cheer answer should be disappoint now cool i have to read next right and you don't feel like going again who oh, don't feel like go going again means you are disappointed i will choose disappointed you don't need to read anything well if you have time you read it but this is all time constraint modules right waiter is singular after that he eats waiter writes waiter song sings waiter kills waiter eats yes has to come just put disappoints with s if there are two yes two verbs with s then you need to read otherwise no need to read a golden tips man this is called subject verb agreement this is one and a half of our chapter in our course all right tip number 22 is done 23 always use present tense when it's a fact what is this present tense you're going to use verb one they eat every day it's a present tense what is a present tense something that is always true is a present tense not something that is happening right now i am talking to you i am a talking it is present continuous tense means right now what is happening i talk i teach it's always true so whenever the things are in the present tense or when it's a fact always use present tense now like can you give an example until then i will not understand water always dash at 100 degrees celsius boil boiled boils do leave a comment what is the answer okay what are always use present tense that's it present tense can be boil boils both are present tense now apply subject verb agreement that is rule number 22 singular noun s yes, will come what are the singular noun now cool you asked me to comment but you are telling the answer it's okay answer is boils here easy peasy hope you are getting it it's not boiled because it's a fact use these rules man reading writing fill in the blanks is all about these rules it's all about grammar reorder the paragraph tip number 24 okay let's get into reorder paragraph a paragraph will be given four or five your job is to rearrange them so that it makes sense when you read from top to bottom so let's say the rule is full name first appears short name comes later if this is the order if they are given one and two see you are not reading you don't have to read full stephen hawking is the full name hawking is the let's say this is a hawking is the short name and this is b now i can just write b a <coughs> without even reading anything because full name comes first after that only short name comes hawking can be john hawking who knows it stephen hawking or something so first you will write stephen hawking blah 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 and then comes hawking hey, remember man golden rules i have made this reorder the paragraph uh, part 1 part 2 part 3 i think i don't think i made part 2 part 3 but part 2 i have made part 1 the video is booming you can check just type reorder the paragraph tips and tricks you will get all of this 25 tip number 25 subject verb object for reorder the paragraph the object becomes subject what it means he eats apples he is a subject eats is a verb subject verb acting on apple he eats apples he eats apples the next line will be this apple in the beginning the object becomes the subject that's how you do reorder the paragraph see here stephen hawking a man bound by a wheelchair but freed by vastness of his thoughts defied the limitations of his body to become one of the greatest scientific minds greatest scientific minds is brilliance so the idea is it will not be he eats apples the apples he eat if it is he eats apples same word is there it is easy same word will not be there so here become one of the greatest scientific minds his brilliance extended means he is one of the greatest scientific minds so this is continuing so here subject is stephen hawking verb is probably anyone you can take anything you can take object is he has become one of the greatest scientific minds this object becomes subject in the next line try applying things synonym of it will be there exact he eats apples apples he eat will not be there synonym of it will be there so when you try to apply things it becomes more easy but remember subject verb object is object becomes subject in the next line <laughs> all right tip number 26 let's move on half 
of the tips is done i think it's around 36 minutes create another 20 25 minutes we may take it can be a lengthy video as i told in the beginning tip number 26 read the paragraph don't spend more than 1.5 minute reading fill in the blank reading writing fill in the blanks contributes 50 plus marks towards your reading reorder four or five marks this is not a priority Sometimes people end up spending five minutes on the reorder because they're not really satisfied with the answer they've got. Ego problem, Nicole. It won't let me settle down. Don't do that. 1.5 minutes, you try. If you're still not getting answer, select one and move on. This is not a very important module. By skipping this still, you can get 90. If you're reading, fill in the blanks is perfect. Know this, don't make this mistake. Tip number 27, choosing an answer reading. In the reading module, there is... First comes reading, writing, fill in the blanks, then choose multiple answer, then reorder, then uh, reading, fill in the blanks, then choose single answer. Choose single answer, just to skip, don't have to worry, thinking oh, choose single answer is right next to, let me not spend much time on the reading, fill in the blanks, let me go to choose single answer, which is last, last module, this will not give any mark, this is just kept to make sure you spend a lot of time there, so that you don't get enough time for your reading, fill in the blanks. Click one and move on. <coughs> random answer don't read don't have to pay someone for the repeated choose single answer questions okay <laughs> there are people selling this as well for money click one and quickly move on no need to spend even one second no need to prepare skip 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 choose multiple answer reading skip 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 for this you can select two negative marking they say nothing is there we've already tested for this also you can select one and quickly move on first comes reading writing fill in the blanks four or five questions then comes multiple choice here if you spend two three minutes you will not get time for reorder the paragraph and reading fill in the blanks right click one and quickly move on not even so should be a fraction of second getting it otherwise you will definitely um, falter skip 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 reading fill in the blanks will not be auto saved pay more attention to this thing entire reading is timed <coughs> correct entire reading around number of questions into 32 minutes is given let's say to you first module is reading writing fill in the blanks you did let's say 15 minutes is over then comes multiple choice you clicked and one move on then comes reorder you selected one 1.5 2 minutes is done and then comes one more reorder you selected and then came reading fill in the blank after reading fill in the blanks there is two single answer reading fill in the blanks you're doing four questions are there three questions you did one more question you're doing getting it and after this Choose single answer, which skills PT in Akul has told you, skills PT has told you, don't have to worry. So for you, the last question is reading fill in the blanks now, because you're not even going to choose single answer. Timer one minute left. You're trying to do, you're trying to drag and drop, you're trying to do, 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 do. And you did not click the next button or the submit button. Hold on. Essay is timed. So that particular thing will be auto saved. This reading fill in the blanks is not timed. Entire reading is timed. There is no evidence for this that this will be auto saved. Why it will not be auto saved? You're going to lose, let's say, all four blanks. You've done it correct. All four marks you would lose because you did not click the next button. Only when you click next or submit, this will be auto saved. Don't make this mistake. Hope you are getting it. Reading fill in the blanks. After the reading fill in the blanks, choose single answer comes. But before that, only timer expired. The last reading writing, reading fill in the blanks or whichever the reading fill in the blank that you've selected, click next before the timer expires. Golden tip. Watch the video again. Two, three minutes. Rewind it and check if you didn't understand. Tip number 30. Okay, after that. So before that, click next for last question before timer expires. Okay, tip number 30. Summarize book context. Let's get into the listening module. Summarize book context. Content is not a priority. What gives you mark here is some phrases you write, don't write just keywords, some phrases, but make sure you write spelling and grammar correct. Grammar and spelling is most important, write four small phrases, proofread for spelling and grammar. I always suggest people to write around 60 to 65 or 65 plus words and less than 70. The more you write, better marks you get towards your listening and writing. Any template you use, but make sure you write four phrases. I'm telling you, otherwise your listening marks will go down. 100% listening marks will go down if you just write two keywords, three keywords. Other day I was checking an official mock test recording of my student. I don't know who gave the template to him. I did not give. He had written 35 keywords by putting comma, 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 full grammar wrong. You don't do all those mistakes. Please, it's a very simple model. Respect the model and write, man. All right. Tip number 31, summarize spoken text will be auto-saved if timer expires. 10 minutes will be given to summarize spoken text. <laughs> Please make use of the complete time here. Don't have to click next. Proofread for spelling and everything. Um, if timer expires, it will be auto-saved. Don't have to worry. 
tip number 32 summarize spoken text let's say i finish summarize spoken text in eight minutes and click next this two minutes will be added to the other modules no no it will not be added so you cannot use so use the entire 10 minutes here at any cost all right tip proofread 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 make sure you keep on reading because so many spelling mistakes people end up doing here because of which your writing and listening will again go down tip number 33 choose single answer listening skip this is not an important module if you don't skip this last module right from dictation 50 or 45 marks it contributes you will not even reach there because timer expires be very careful choose single answer but you cannot click next immediately they play an audio and then they'll give you a question until the audio ends you cannot click next next button will not be activated try doing it with your own logic whatever it is once the audio ends you should be ready with your answer after the audio ends you spend extra two minutes gone case once the audio ends click one and move on if you know the answer if you don't know the answer click one and move on don't spend extra time and do the same for choose multiple answer do the same for highlight correct summary do the same for select missing word remember this well you have the opportunity to answer when the audio plays listen carefully put your entire efforts but once the audio ends don't think again for one more minute that's exactly what i'm talking about all right tip number 36 until 36 we just went like this now tip number 37 listening fill in the blanks knuckle this listening fill in the blanks is a problem for me sometimes they say context sometimes they say context yes is there or not knuckle a use article concept now correct you can use the article concepts and you know get the marks uh, let's say here I don't have an audio for this question, but still I'll explain. After an, sorry, these. Listen to this. After these, it should be plural. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm. These pens, because these represents plural entity, belongs to a larger, a singular noun. If ye is not there, this should be yes. Sometimes this doesn't work. I was not able to listen clearly. Apply the grammar concepts. It becomes more easier all right i think i have got an audio so let's play the audio here for the same reason and then help you understand better oxidative stress describes an imbalance between cells production and elimination of byproducts of the breakdown of oxygen these byproducts these byproduct if you write con case these will always be coupled with yes hope you're getting it hope you're getting it known as reactive oxygen species ross are important for cell functioning but cause damage in high amounts Rose belong to a larger category of category not categories some people end up writing something else ye is there should be category if ye is not there it's categories hope you're getting it let's quickly move on to tip number 38 you can fix your spelling mistakes using article concepts see here an is there oxidative stress describes an after an ye e i o u pronouncing sound only has to come so the idea is let's say i'm playing it here oxidative stress describes an imbalance and here imbalance this was an easy word but let's say there is a difficult word where you don't know the correct spelling you can easily start with a e i o u pronouncing sound after an it's always a e i o u pronouncing sound after an b will not come k will not come s will not come it's always a a e o i o u <laughs> all right only this will come so take care of this particular grammar rule as well we will move to tip number 39 you can use capital letter all small letter first letter capital all capital all small it doesn't make any difference in hindi they say koi farak nahi padta what gives you mark correct spelling should be there all right uh, tip number 40 listening fill in the blanks use grammar to fix your verb one verb 2 verb 3 you remember in the grammar rule i told you i think 25 or 27th grammar rule after has have had you have verb 3 correct so let's use this now let's play the audio decades after fighting jewish rebels in the holy land a roman military unit traveled to what is travel or traveled how do i know it's decades after fighting jewish it's all old concepts so now if you apply tenses so here verb 2 will come that's exactly what i am it was not clear travel or traveled it should be ed if you don't write ed marks gone 
now the country of Georgia, leaving coins minted in what is now Israel at one of their camps there. New research revealed. One of the, one of the friends, one of the residents. Remember the grammar rule here, camps. One of their camps, yes, has to come. If you don't write as, con guess. Be very careful, be very careful here. An analysis dash were brought. Were brought is past tense. So here also, if I play it again, continue. Archaeologists discovered the Roman era coins at Colchis, in who research reveals. One second. Archaeologists discovered the Roman era coins at Colchis, in western Georgia near the Black Sea. There's a problem there. Sorry on that. We'll continue. An analysis revealed that some... Reveal is wrong. It should be ED because entire tense... The situation is in the past tense. It should be revealed here also. E D R E V E A L E D. Be very careful. All these, whatever the grammar that you learn, all these can be easily filled, fixed using grammar. Listening fill in the blanks is easy peasy. You just need to know how to solve it. Tip number 41: highlight incorrect word. Negative marking is there. Be very, very careful. Make sure you don't click when on doubt whenever you have a doubt about the word don't select it if you don't select there is no negative marking negative marking is only when you select a word which is not an incorrect word what exactly i mean by that an audio will be given text will be there some words in the paragraph and the audio mismatch so you have to select them i will just do the same now just hold on for a second let's play the audio elephant tusks evolved from teeth giving the species an evolutionary advantage they serve a variety of purposes, digging, lifting objects, gathering food, stripping bark from trees to eat, and defense. The tusks also protect the trunk, another valuable tool for drinking, breathing, and eating, among other uses. Just as humans are left or right-handed, elephants, too, are left-tusked or right-tusked. The dominant tusk is usually more worn down from frequent use. Alright, so if I select like this, if I things which was correct i'll get five marks to my listening and five marks to my reading because it's a reading skill then where do we have negative marking i'll tell you suppose i did not select this low do i get negative marking no you get one mark for involved one mark for do one mark for dust one mark for prevent four marks you get then when do we get negative marking you selected dominant <laughs> selected low let's say you selected this low correctly let's hope and you selected the dominant as well thinking oh that's an incorrect word now you get one mark for involved one mark here one mark here one mark here one mark here five this is minus one be very careful in doubt don't select easy peasy hope it is clear hope it is clear we will move on to the tip number 42 we're inching closer now right from dictation the last module of so many tips are there uh, ordering of the words doesn't matter the plain audio he goes to market every day and eats the mangoes you don't have to write exactly as it is boss you can write like this a market to goes he to and he eats a mango so da ye every day will i get marks 100 percent tested but every word should be there <laughs> every word in any corner if it is there you will get the marks Ordering is not required. So when you listen, don't have to pay attention to order of the words in which they appear. All you got to pay attention is to the context. We'll understand more. Tip number 43, write from dictation, add extra words. Can I really add extra words? Yes. What to add? Add singular noun, plural noun. The development happened. Development, so development. Development, so development. Add both. For this question, he goes to a market. Market, markets. Mango, mangoes. I'm going to add both. Wherever there is a chance, add extra words. Singular noun, plural noun, don't forget, add extra words. Then tip number 44, add extra words with respect to verb 1, verb 2, verb is. He developed this project. Develop or developed or develops. Add all. Wherever there is a verb, add all possibility, man. No, cool, are you sure we will not be penalized for listening? No. Are you sure we will not be penalized for writing? No. But my tutor is telling I will get low mark. No. Because you got low mark. Your tutor was not able to justify, so he told, you have, you know, added extra words, so you got less, less marks. All my students are adding it. You can see the score reports we are sharing regularly in YouTube community posts, Insta page, YouTube shorts. They all have added extra words. Okay. Add verb 1, verb 2, verb 3. So here, goes, I added, I add go, goes. Eats, I add eat, eats, ate, eaten. Verb 1, verb 2, verb 3, verb s also you can add. Hope you are getting it. Try to implement them 
in your next upcoming exam with a good practice i wish you all the best you'll get good marks tip number 45 another few more men hold on tip number 45 right from dictation add extra words add ye and the for every question he went to park yesterday he went to ye park because park is countable singular noun ye has to come but in uh, their accent in their pronunciation they don't talk about this uh he went to park yesterday so you write he went to park yesterday ye that ye is missing you lose mark for any question add ye and the uh, towards the end easy peasy if whatever you have missed will be covered you can write multiple a multiple and multiple the no problem at all only thing is you will have less time perhaps 40 to 45 seconds for one question you need to be very quick that's it all right tip number 46 add extra spellings for your write from dictation let's say this is the audio the raindrops fell gently cleansing the earth the raindrops fell gently cleansing that cleansing spelling i won't know no cool C L E N S I N G C L E A I N S I N G C L E A E N all the possibilities you can add whichever is correct you will get marks the negative ones the wrong ones do i get negative marking no is it tested yes are your students getting has anyone got 90 there are more than i think uh, in this in this five five six years more than thousand to two thousand people have got uh, 90 you don't have to worry there are more than 10,000 people who have got 90 alone in speaking you don't have to worry everything that I have told is tested the more than at least 200 to 300 people have got 90 overall this works this will work don't have to worry but add with the belief with the faith that it works tip number 47 right from dictation divide into phrases don't memorize you memorize one two three four words you retain or fifth word somewhere here after that no space 10 words audio, you write 5 words because you are memorizing. But if you understand, divide them into phrases. You can write all 10 words. So what is this phrase? Let's play this audio. Her radiant smile lit up the room, warming the hearts of those around her. Her radiant smile lit up the room, warming the hearts around her. Her smile lit up the room, warming the heart who's around her. It's four or three phrases, pay more attention. No, no, cool. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen words. No, it is not fourteen words. It is a radiant smile lit up the room, warming the hearts of those around her. So it's one, two, three, four. If you convince your mind it is fourteen words, your mind will never accept it. What your mind says, yeah, you can only write four words. But if you convince your mind, it's not 14 words, it's just four phrases. Your mind will respond, man. Trust me on this. I've told this story many times. A patient went to a doctor and doctor told him, you need to rest for 15 days. Said, oh, 15 days? No, not possible. Then doctor said, okay, not required. Then rest for two weeks. He told only two weeks? Yes, definitely yes. So that's how the mind works. Tip number 47 is very, very important. All right, work on it. So now we will move. Tip number 48, almost ending right from dictation. Right? Whenever you write, it's all about agility. A lengthy sentence is so difficult to retain sometimes. So you need to write as quickly as possible. You write it slow, then this will throw up. To write fast, I personally suggest don't write one one letter because when you come back, you don't know what you wrote. At least two letters of each word. So something like the same one, you can write like this. Her red smile lit up the room, warming the heart of the those around us it's, it's still difficult but yes something like this you can write so that you can retract and add extra words and get marks if you write h e r r a d i n t after the smile lit up the room you will not remember because this will forget within two three seconds you need to write as quickly as possible let's move on to tip number 49 last write from dictation click the submit button if you don't click the submit button last write from dictation mostly will not be saved for some people it has for many it has not the idea is some have got even 90 by not clicking that's what they claim but many have got less course i've seen many people uh, 72 listening 72 writing reading and speaking 90 and they have not clicked the submit button they just waited for the timer to expire last write from dictation the next attempt 90 overall so I've seen many, but some for few countable people, even if they don't click the next button or submit button, it is still counted. 
and got 90 overall but i personally suggest click submit button before the timer expires without fail sometimes server we don't know how it uh, reacts let's say the three minutes is left by the time you come to first right from dictation first right from dictation you took one minute two minutes is left second right from dictation you took one more minute last question one minute is left 45 seconds over you typed everything 15 seconds is there you try to understand spelling five seconds is there you waited three two one timer expired last may not be counted five seconds is there click next click submit finish it off that's the best suggestion coming to the last tip <laughs> last step all right tip number 50 my scores i was expecting a really good score scores are really low i am going to apply re-evaluation same scores will come it's a computer it behaves the same way it has already got the data see ielts exam is different it's manual evaluation let's say essay in ielts first attempt i got writing 5.5 applied for re-evaluation i got seven the idea is ielts it's a human human may make some errors we'll definitely make error this is software you give this one plus one it always writes two you give it again it writes two only unless the code is changed so don't apply for re-evaluation same scores will repeat all right 50 tips how was the video guys give me honest reply uh, because see the lot of lights you don't know black circles lights burn the eyes voice issues we have to stand here for one straight hour it's almost close to exact one hour a lot of people here editing lot of team lot of hard work ppt preparation it requires a lot of time so do let us know how you felt about the video and do subscribe for more because you don't get anywhere else this kind of informative content do subscribe to our channel and um, like this video to show the appreciation if you really like the video after all we are humans, we feel really, really good when someone says, hey, good work. Trust me on this, I'm just telling you openly. <laughs> All right. With this, I'll park the video here. Keep watching Skills PT. If not subscribed, kindly do subscribe. Any point of time you need online assistance, you can WhatsApp us. We will be a click away in the WhatsApp. Very soon, we'll be back, guys. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.